Invenco have really paved the way and created the standard for 3PL to catering to online retail yeah. and things yeah. like the yeah. e-commerce. Yeah. We were really excited about the whole e-commerce space and so when we first launched Dollbox we were um, stocking wholesale stock and about six months in we uh, put together our own a custom range of bikinis and it was our um, bow bottom bikinis that yeah. once we launched them we just sales went absolutely crazy i had to quit my job and was working full time on the business packing orders at home and we realized at that point we're a bikini brand i actually remember nice no it's just it's funny i remember the moment that we decided, well Matt decided we need to outsource our, um, our picking and packing. Like Matt was still working full time in the army and so in the mornings we sit down do our list of things you know I had to do in the business and a lot of it was on the website and customer care and whatnot. And then he'd come home and he's like, Oh, did you get that done? Did you get that done? I'm like, No, I literally I was packing orders all day, I had to line up at the post office with bags of um, like packages. He had to have shoulder surgery, which was really which sucked. Mm -hmm. And then the yeah. first Day that he could kind of come down and help me pack orders. He was literally doing it for like an hour with me. He's like, nah, that's it. We have to outsource this. We can't be doing this. I'm like, see what I'm talking about? I'm doing this every single day. You do it for one day and we have to outsource it. You know, and Dave, Dave put the uh, least cost um, shipping algorithm as well into the NetSuite system. So, um, you know, for example, if we're having a, an order go somewhere in Sydney domestic or whether it's going to um, the US, uh, we can provide some KPIs to Banco as per shipping timeframes that we expect for that customer and that order. Uh, and Dave's uh, least cost um, algorithm will pick the shipping method at the cheapest uh, rate for us as a business that will still get there in that time frame that we've um, dictated. We were shipping out what, what, three, four hundred orders or more a day and Banco went overnight from doing just our swimwear orders, which was at the time maybe 50 or more a day, to three or four hundred a day and I remember talking to them about it and they're like wow like you know but but they they, they met the demand we found that we can well our profits have increased because we can sell stock sooner because in the in the past some of our um, the other three PLs have had experience with stock might sit there for a week or two before it's mm -hmm. counted in and we can't sell it until so we've already paid for that those goods we can't sell it and return a profit until it's it's in the warehouse ready for dispatch. So in Banker, we've had times, especially with the sunglasses, when they were going crazy, I'd, you know, I'd give Sean a call and say, can you guys get this in today? Because we have you know, a couple hundred orders that we want to get out with this new stock and then they'd be all over it. Um, so, so, yeah. so they're part of our team, like they're part of our business. It's like an extension, yeah. don't you think? It's yeah. like